Okay, people at home, this is another South Jetty dive at Humboldt County in Humboldt Bay. And you're going to notice that we start near a, a short tower with a red marker on it. We're going to dive in there, float with the current back to the parking lot, and get out. This is a good example of a, a very typical regular dive. So for those of you who are wondering, I have two pairs of gloves on. When my neoprene gloves get old, I cut the fingers off and then I wear two pairs of gloves. Any work glove or whatever glove that I want goes on the bottom and then I put the neoprene glove over the top so my wrist seals really good and I have more protection on my palm. So I have two pairs of gloves on. That's why you see the orange fingers and that is why in a lot of my videos I have colorful fingers because I have two pairs of gloves on. I layer my gloves. a tip leave your gun on the bottom that helps bring lings out your gun when it's touching the bottom clank it around attracts fish so I quite often leave my gun on the bottom because when I go down and start my dive and pick up my gun there's a fish right next to it You'll see on my descent, when I go down, I start close to the rocks and I'm almost crawling my way down 
in between the boulders and I'm keeping my body as close as I, as I can to the rocks. And that is the best way not to spook off the rockfish that are out in the channel. And it's also the best way to peek over every rock that you go by in case there's a ling laying out. So I'm actually not diving down as much as I am stalking fish and climbing down through the boulders. Right here in this in this video, right there, you will notice fishing line. There's fishing line all over. It gets stuck in every possible place you can imagine, and we encounter it while spear fishing the the jetty all the time. So be prepared. Bring a knife. Bring whatever you need to cut braided line, and be prepared to break mono any way you can.
pulling up my float line so that I don't have any tension when I dive. That is why I'm looping up my float line right here before I go down. This last dive is a good example of how you don't need to go far to get fish. We are almost always diving up against the rocks, the same rocks the fishermen are standing on and fishing from. We stay close because the fish are close. We don't need to go out in the channel. Everything we need is close to the rocks right up against the jetty. Black. 